late today, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn reportedly agreed to turn over some documents to the Senate Intelligence Committee. Elaine Flynn is another top focus of this investigation and initially refused to comply with the committee's subpoenas. Well, Jeff, you mentioned the House Intelligence Committee is looking to speak with former Trump campaign senior advisor Boris Epstein and the president, uh, president's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen. Do we know why or what lawmakers want, would want to ask them about or what possible role either of them could have played? Well, we know that uh, the committees investigating this on Capitol Hill are casting a fairly wide net. We've learned today that there are about two dozen people uh, that they want to hear from, that they want to testify, and Boris Epstein is on that list, as well as Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen, of course, the president's uh, personal attorney for many years. Uh, and so they want to know what kind of contacts these two men may have had with Russian operatives or Russian officials. That's really at the heart of what these uh, congressional panels are trying to get at. Was there collusion between Trump officials and the Russians? Uh, they feel obviously that uh, Michael Cohen and Boris Epstein could shed light on that issue. Well, the Associated Press is reporting former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn will provide some documents under subpoena to the Senate Intelligence Panel. What do we know at this point? Well, yeah, this is a late breaking development today. And uh, what we're hearing is that he will reportedly turn over uh, documents pertaining to two of his businesses, as well as uh, some other personal documents. We're told uh, that that will happen uh, as early as next week. Just keep in mind that we were talking last week about uh, Flynn invoking the fifth. Uh, so this is something that he is doing, uh, complying with this subpoena that he received. So he he will be turning over some documents. Well, Press Secretary Sean Spicer and Counselor Kellyanne Conway both defended the use of back-channel communications Tuesday. Let's listen. I think Secretary Kelly and General McMaster have both discussed uh, that in general terms, uh, back channels are an appropriate part of diplomacy. As you heard General McMaster, as you heard Secretary Kelly over this weekend say they're not concerned, back channels like this are the regular course of business. The relationships that Jared was able to establish during transition uh, helped develop this phenomenal international trip. By defending back channels, could the White House actually be confirming that this happened? Well, they didn't deny it. Uh, and so, you know, to, to hear them say that this was part of the normal course of business, you talk to people and they will tell you just the opposite, that it certainly wasn't. And then if you look at the context here, all of this was happening as these questions about Russian uh, coordination with the Trump campaign were swirling around them. And that's why there are some people who are looking at this. Uh, and it, again, is one of these issues that really raises alarms for a lot of people. All right, Jeff Pegues in our Washington Bureau. Jeff, thanks.